Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Graph Exponential, and Logarithmic Functions. Question number seven, domain and range. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. If I could stick every single math student with a syringe, containing a health dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to get your healthy dose of Algebra 2 by ordering the complete exponential and logarithmic um, cram session. All right, you have lots of friends, classmates, colleagues, and or peers who are taking Algebra 2 alongside you and they could probably use a boost as well. So tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they too can order the complete exponential and logarithmic function section. All right, let's delve into the concept. Domain and range, question seven. Sketch the graph of the function f of x equals three to the x and g of x equals the log base 3 of x. Considering the graphs, describe the relationship between f of x and g of x. Specify the domain and range of g. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. And having your TI series or gra graphing calculator handy is definitely going to help, okay? All right, so hopefully by now you were able to press pause. And the first thing that we're going to do is um, sketch the graph of f of x, okay? This isn't the only first step that you have to take, um, but I think it's worth it, okay? And in an effort to sketch the graph of f of x, what we're first going to do is make a tables of values for the function f of x equals 3 to the x, and then we're going to plot the values. So in order to make this table of values, we're going to bring out our calculator. By pressing the on key here in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to be brought to your home screen, okay? And then you're going to hit the y equals button, and you'll be brought to um, this input screen and now you're going to input three and then where's the carrot carrot for the exponent and you press your value variable button x and you'll end up with three to the x okay then you're going to hit second um graph to bring you to the table screen and you see a list of values for x and y and this is actually not in um, proper numerical order. I'm not really sure what's up here with my calculator, but yeah, you're going to get a table of values. And so basically you can use these values to sketch your graph. Okay. And again, this is a, the graph of f of x equals three to the x. So what we're going to do basically is use these values to sketch and label the graph of f of x equals three to the x, as we've done right here. And now we're asked to describe the relationship between f of x and g of x. Well, if you're familiar with um, logarithms and exponential functions, um, we know that this function log base three of x is the inverse function of the exponential function three to the x, okay, because the inverse function of three to the x is going to be the logarithm of the same base, all right? And this is just a general placeholder. And remember that um, terms like f of x and g of x are interchangeable with y, the dependent variable, okay? So this is saying basically that g of x is going to be the exponent that you would have to raise base 3 to in order to get the value of x. 
Hence, it's the inverse function of f of x equals 3 to the x. And this, I know I'm making it seem so simple, but if you didn't purchase the complete cram session and look through the basic series on um, the relationship between the logarithmic and exponential functions, then you wouldn't even know what I'm talking about, okay? So you would have to go back and watch the basics video for this concept, okay? Yeah, so again, the function g of x is going to be the inverse function of f of x, or 3 to the x, and it can be graphed basically by switching the x and y coordinates and there is um an inverse function button i think it's right around here on your calculator but that's a whole nother session and just in case you don't know how to do that just simply switch all your x and y values okay or when graphing um the g the function g of x since it's the inverse of f of x it's just basically the reflection of the function f of x over the line y equals x. This diagonal is the line y equals x. And so, yeah, here we have g of x is basically a reflection of this f of x graph over the line y equals x. And for more clarity, you can turn it on a diagonal to see that this is in fact true because some people might not be so comfortable with this sort of um translation okay but the more you do it the more comfortable you get with it and now to answer the second portion of our question we want to specify the domain that is all the x values where the function g of x is valid and visual inspection shows that this function is going to be valid basically for all this area over here okay so we'll, let's see, we'll shade it in. So for all this over here, all these x values over here, the function is going to be valid. And what this is looking like to me is when um, x is greater than 0, okay? So that's our domain, x such that we'll have our vertical line x is greater than 0. And then for our, um, our range, these are going to be all the y values for which um, the function is valid. And since the y goes in the horizontal direction, we see that the function g of x is extending upward very slowly, but it's extending downward at a pretty rapid pace. So it's looking like basically the um, range or the y or output values or g of x values for which the function is going to be valid is going to be basically all real numbers. I'm just going to write all for short, although this is not precise. And there is um, set notation to indicate that, okay? Oh, so basically, between y is between negative infinity and infinity, all right? So all real numbers. All right, um, I get a little shaky at the end, but I think you get the point. So thanks for tuning in. Good luck studying, and be sure to order and purchase the complete cram session. All right.